finally back with Minecraft after a bit of a break from a lot of stuff, including the 10 episode break thing. But we're back, and I'm excited to finally put together our our resource generation. It's been too long, and we are finally getting around to it. So, just one thing before we start, real quick. I am still shaking off a bit of a sickness. Uh, I might be a little sniffly, but I've otherwise completely recovered. I gathered... Oh, wait, it's in my backpack. Yeah, okay. Phew! I gathered a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, most of this stuff I already had. The only thing I really needed to gather was the wool, which I crafted out of all my string. And I think I went and grabbed some other stuff. I don't know why I have rose bushes in here. I think... I don't know. I think I might have needed red dye for something, but I don't remember what. Oh, boy, zombie pig man. One thing I did forget to grab, though, was dirt, so I'm just going to grab that, too. Uh, nope, I want a second stack, please. Alright. And I came up with something that I think will work very well. The first thing we want to do is fill in the first plot. Right, I'm gonna oops, get some water. Just fill the bucket up. Okay. I'm not going to till this yet, because we still need to actually set up the contraption. So what I'm going to do is... i got to grab all this stuff. I got all of the raw ingredients, but I didn't actually get any of the crafting. I didn't craft any of part of it. I, oh, it's right. I thought that was stone. It's light gray wool. No wonder I had it in there. Okay. So the first thing we're going to need is another windmill bearing. Because we're going to use windmills to, to do this. Because the thing we need is we need a storage system that's capable of handling the output, and we need a rather self-contained rotating our auto harvesters we don't want to have to run up here and harvest it constantly so we want something that auto harvests and dumps it into a container and to do that with create we're going to need rotational force and the most compact and easy source of rotational force in of independent rotational force is windmill bearings so we're going to do another windmill bearing and to do that we need a wooden slab We need a block of stone. Oh, we do need stone. Neat. And we need some shafts. So let's just make a whole bunch. We're only going to build one today, but I'm going to try to get a bunch of extra resources because we're going to need like all eight eventually. So we've got our windmill bearing. Now we obviously need the sails. We're just going to make as many of these as we can. That is not a lot. <laughs> should probably uncraft my andesite alloy blocks. That, that's enough sales for now, I think, because we're... Oh, man, I used too much Andesite Ally. We're going to need Andesite Ally for... Oh, wait, never mind. We're going to need Andesite Ally for other things. And two stacks is going to be enough. Okay, so now we need something called a Linear Chassis. And that's pretty simple. It's just logs or stripped logs. But the question is, how many of these do I need? Because I don't want to overcraft. I'll craft an extra just for good measure. Okay. So that's the linear chassis. And I'll explain what that does in a minute. We're going to need to grab these portable storage interfaces if we had enough inventory space. 
We need shoots. This is the big one. We need um. No, we need we don't need shoots. We need funnels. Is that what they're called? Yes. Here we are. Brass funnels. So to do that, we need dried kelp, which I'm pretty sure we still have a bunch of. Uh, we still have five. That'll be enough for this, at least. And we need electron tubes, which means we need polished rose quartz. We need mechanical harvesters. These things. These are the core backbone of what we're doing here. How many do we need? I think this will be enough. Of course, I don't have enough inventory space for it. I think that's actually going to be enough. But I'm short on the alloys, which is what stopped me anyway. Okay, that should do it. It's going to be pretty awkward. But what we're going to do is we're going to put the windmill bearing. Nope. I just destroyed the water. Like that. There we go. Okay, go to grab some more water. I should just make like. Hold on. It, uh, uh, forget buckets of water. Um, there's a conjure water spell. Where is it? Here we are. Oh, it takes the water essence. Uh, I'll do that. I'll do that later. That's it's going to be really useful though, because it's just a portable water bucket. Like I said, this magic book is so useful. So then we put the linear chassis on top like this. And technically, it doesn't matter what direction it's oriented in, as long as it's all oriented in the same direction. See, this is not right. And what's going to happen is... It's going to rotate. And the mechanical harvesters we put on this are going to cut everything. Now, because the corners are further out than the the sides, we do need to go one extra on each side. I tested this. So then, we go like this. And because this one here and the opposite one on the other side actually won't get cut, we also need to do that. Which is why I made 12 instead of 10. Alright, and now what we do basically is we go like that. Then we take our sails. Nope. Now we can get this to spin, and it'll automatically harvest all of the crops in this plot. But that's not all. I actually did forget one last thing. I need a chest. And not just any chest, I need an iron chest. Heck, I might even want to go for a gold chest, really. But either way, I need a chest. Super glue, right? Yeah, I need to get the super glue while I'm here. 
because we're going to need to glue a lot of this together. Uh, where is my super glue? I had super glue. Where, do, where is it? I must have put it in here. Yeah. Okay. Weird place to put it, but okay. I guess that's just me putting things in weird places. Because we're going to need to glue a whole lot of things together. Now, what we can do with the super glue is we can right click. Uh, but that's only the top, so I guess it does kind of matter. But it doesn't really matter because it just means it's going to be different. Where's the chest? Here we are. Then we put the chest uh, here. And that's going to give this a storage so it can actually pick up what it harvests. Now, it's going to be really annoying to actually try and grab the chest because it's going to be rotating. So what we're going to do is we're going to have something that automatically offloads everything. So we're going to start here. We're going to actually tear out this. I'm not putting a... We are not putting, um, we're not going to put a plot here. We're going to put something else here. And then what's going to happen is eventually this chest is going to fill up. And since it's rotating, it's going to be a real pain to actually get into. I'm also going to need to get, bring some ladders up here at some point, I think. Heck, if I bring the ladders, I can craft the damn ladders. Way more ladders than I need, but I can, I can put more ladders on, like, other parts of the other side, so I don't have to climb up the same side every time. And then what we're going to do is, because it's going to be really annoying to to get into that chest, we want to offload it somewhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these portable storage interfaces. And what these do is you place them a block or two apart, and when it spins and these two meet up, it connects and they share an inventory. So it becomes part of the rotating contraption. What we're going to do then is we're going to take a brass funnel and we're going to put it there. And that's an extract mode. And we're going to do the same thing here. And what we're going to do is on the one on the bottom, since this is going to be an Inferium plot, we right click the brass funnel with an Inferium essence and it becomes filtered to Inferium. And what we're going to do for this side is we're going to filter it to Inferium seeds. And what's going to happen normally is we're going to put the seeds into something called a seed reprocessor. And that's going to turn them into more inferior essence. And for now we can put this here, I think. Because in order to get stuff into the chest, we need to just put a hopper, or not a hopper, a funnel. And that's in insert mode because I shift clicked it. And this chest will normally be a seed processor, but it's not anymore, or it's not anymore. It's not right now because I don't want it to be because we need to actually f complete our our um, plot, and we're not going to make seeds for every area. And that's going to be especially relevant concerning the other plots where the seeds are even less craftable. So then at the bottom, we're going to take. not find things in my inventory because they're in my backpack. That's probably why. We're going to blow this. We're going to put our drawer and we're going to shunt a funnel on it. And then we're going to upgrade it so it has 1,024 stacks worth of storage. And that's a lot of storage. That's, uh, that's 64,000 storage. That's like an entire drive's worth of storage, which is why I'm doing this and not using the, the uh, refined storage system. Because this will hold more of ind an individual item, which is what we're producing. We're only going to be producing the essence, because that's all it produces. Now, time to actually craft our, our seeds, because we actually need those. So, in order to craft 
Inferium Siege, which is the backbone of the mod. We just need to surround normal seeds with Inferium. And we could do that a bunch, but that would cost a lot of Inferium, and I want to save Inferium. So what we're going to do is, before we forget, we're going to do that, and that doesn't consume the seed. Then we're going to take our non-existent hoe that I'm going to craft... Before we do anything with that hoe, we're going to super glue. Now these are automatically connected, but this one here isn't on a linear chassis, so it isn't. So we just want to make sure all the loose parts are glued together. And now when we right click the bearing with an empty hand I don't have, it should all spin. Right, the uh, the um, the storage, <laughs> the, the storage link, that's also kind of important. So yeah, you can see it's all spinning. It's spinning pretty fast too, which is good. But uh That should do it. All right, and now that this is spinning Watch this. And it only stayed linked up for a second because it waits until there's no more inventory transfers to be done, and there were no inventory transfers because there's nothing in its inventory. Now the one thing I am concerned about is if I have eight of these things running at once, and the wooden hoe already broke, okay. If I have eight of these things running at once, how much lag it's going to cause... So now what we're going to do is we're going to plant this, we're going to plant it here just so we can see it. And the thing with this is bone meal does work on it, but it's like less efficient. And I can make a watering can to grow it, but I like don't really feel bothered to do that. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to place the last of these diorite bricks, I'm going to clear out my inventory, and then we're going to make that water summoning glyph, because that's just going to be really helpful. Now, in order to make a water glyph, a conjured water glyph, we need water essence and a water bucket, but we also need water essence. And that consumes the bucket, unfortunately, but we have plenty. <laughs> now, the essences are crafted via the imbuement chamber. We need another water bucket, we need a block of snow and a piece of kelp. I don't think I have a block of snow. I don't think I've ever seen snow in this world. Now what I do want to do is make a chest. Because there's a whole bunch of these essences. I made three chests. Oh my god, I hate the shit. I need them for the the storage things anyway. Stupid. I, I never shift click out of the refined storage system. That's how you eat all of your resources. What I want to do is I want to put this here. And then we can sort based on the essence it it can create. So we grab stuff. But we need to get snow, and that's a problem. Oh, there's snow down there. Okay, so I just need to head south for snow. Well, that's an icicle spike. Yeah, that's right. I commented on that when I was over here the first time. And that thing, too. Yeah, that's going to be really interesting. Because that's like a boss dungeon for the ice and fire mod or something. Now, this is all the snow I need. But of course, it'd be foolish to only take that much snow, so we're going to take a little bit more. So now we've got our snow block, and we put that on the pedestal, and we take our kelp, and we put that on the pedestal, and we take our... Oh my god! If you touch the berries, they damage you. Scare the daylights out of me. And then we need to put... Oh, we need to put a, a gem, a shiny gem in the middle, don't we? Uh, we need lapis for that, because we don't have any gems. Oh, we do have gems, never mind. We have we have a bunch of extra gems. Forget how we got those, we probably looted them from a dungeon somewhere. We put that in the middle, and that's going to eat a bunch of essence. Anyway, my celial generator is going to eat those. Oh, it, uh snatched the stone out of that, apparently. I didn't know it could do that. Neat. Okay, now we know conjure water. And 
And that doesn't consume these, so we can leave them in there. But that doesn't mean we're going to need to grab a third water bucket. Now, I do have a bucket of milk in my inventory, but I'd like to keep that as milk. Because that's useful for uh, drinking away... Um, bad omen. There is still something we need to do concerning the Magical Crops mod, though. So let's get back onto that. We want... A Master Infusion Crystal. Now, in order to get that, you need four Supremium Essence. And that is very expensive, but it's very good because this crystal is unbreakable. Whereas the other crystals you can make a break after a thousand uses. So we need an Infusion Crystal. And to do that, we need a whole bunch of stuff that we apparently don't have in here. We need the... Oh, I, it's right. It's because I crafted all the Inferium into blocks. And I took all of the Prosperity Shards out. So we make an Infusion Crystal. And what that does is it allows us to upgrade this Inferium into stronger essences. Now, in order to actually make the Supremium Essence, we need uh, a lot. One Supremium Essence is four Imperium Essence. So we need 16 Imperium Essence. One Imperium Essence is four Tertium Essence. And we need 16 Imperium Essence, so we need 64 Tertium Essence, which is a stack. One Tertium Essence is four Prudentium Essence, so we need four stacks. And one Prudentium Essence is four Inferium Essence, so we need 16 stacks. So let's see if we have enough. We just barely don't have enough, because we need four stacks of Prudentium. Alright, before we upcraft any more, I'm going to go mine... A little bit more Inferium. We can break this back down, and I think I will, because we don't need that extra. Okay, and then we take our Prudentium. Now it's Tertium. Now it's Imperium. Now we have four Supremium. Now we can make our Master Infusion Crystal, which takes a Supremium... Oh, it takes an extra two! I forgot! Ah, uh, but we have... We have four Supremium Essence. And that will allow us to craft some... A bunch of stuff. But something we need to do before we can do any of the, the real crafting is we need to make the actual crafting bench. In order to do that... That's why I got the red dye, right? Also, I hear... Pillagers... Oh no, it's not. You're not a pillager. You're a wandering trader. You're selling a, co you're selling cooked cockroach for two emeralds. What kind of guy do you think I am? Four emeralds for a slime ball. Three emeralds for a cactus. Goodbye, sir. I do not wish to trade for any of that. Uh, we need red wool, which is why we got the rose bushes, so we can make them into red dye. And then we can take the wool we have, not in our system, but in our inventory. Or we could do that too. Okay, I guess I guess we do that. Um, whoops. Uh, our system is red now. <laughs> Hopefully that won't confuse me. But we need one block for the altar, and then we need eight of these. So we need nine blocks of wool. And then a bunch of the smooth stone. Okay, and you may be wondering why the heck I'm doing this. It's because this is how you craft the seeds. Okay, but now we need to set up this altar. And I think at one point I was planning to do that in the middle of the... the temple, but there's not enough room for that, I think, because we need quite a bit of, actually there, there would be, there would barely be if I put it in the center, but it would be really cramped down here, I don't like that, and we can see, nothing has been produced yet, because it hasn't grown yet, and we can do other things to make the, um, to make it the process faster, for example, we can do... 
this. Got to really be precise there. And that gives it um, an extra 10% chance to drop a seed, which is really what we want at this phase. Eventually, we can put higher tier essence under it to make it produce more Inferium. But I doubt we'll need to do that. So I think that's that's for ours. So I think we're going to put the altar over here. We've got plenty of space. So we're going to do that, and it creates little ghost blocks. We do that. And then we put the lever here, because it needs redstone input to craft. Actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to hold off on crafting the seeds altogether. Are you guys okay? Can you guys get away from my door, please? Creeps. Because I don't want to break the, the infusion crystal, but I also don't want to... Nah. Boo. Because I need, like, eight more stacks. Because each stack of Inferium is four stacks of... Or each stack of... Su each, each unit of Supremium is four stacks of Inferium. And as you can see, this is not going to produce enough. I can make, like, the watering can to try to speed this up. What I think I really want to do instead is make the, um... The chunk loader. Blaze powder and gold. That's surprisingly cheap, actually. Is 5x5 five five going to be enough? Oh, yeah. 3x3 three three apparently would have been enough. Apparently, I don't know how chunks work. Oops. But if we need to, we can also load stuff in the peripheries. Alright. So now we got this area loaded. That's always going to happen. Now what I think I want to do now is get more Inferium. So I think I'm going to go mining again. So I'll, I'll be back when I'm done with that. Because I really want that, that Supreme Infusion Crystal. Just gotta shove all this in there. Gonna keep the Inferium because we want to keep track of how much we have. And for now, I'll see you. Oh, right, this is one of the creepy ones. <laughs> yeah, hold on, hold on. Uh, I'll see you. How many of these do we have now? We have three copies of Cat. That's great. Doesn't appear to make any sound. Other side. I don't think I've actually heard other side. We have two copies of 13 now, too. Oh, yeah, this one. I'll see you guys next week.